after creating a new material that is the fluid WS1 with the properties of the fluid with the density and the viscosity created through the expressions. Now we want to define this new material in the CFX period to be used in the simulation. For this one, go to domain tab. and delete the old material name which is default material here and create a new material with any name so here I use the name as a my fluid after creating my fluid you will see there are different options and browse for the material we created in the last step and just choose it so I would like to show this one in the CFX pre so double click on the default domain and in the basic settings delete the existing material and click on the add new item here I will put the name as a my let's say my fluid the only thing you should be Considering is that this name of my fluid should not be in conflict with the any existing name of the materials or the variables of the CFX. Now click on OK. After that, you can click on the arrow to open the drop down box or you can click on the browse button to select the material of the choice. Since we have already created the material, and here the name is slightly different material CFS course click it and then click on the apply or directly on the ok as you can see here it's giving us some error so we can go to the material CFS and uh, from here we can define the some properties. This property will not affect anything here. So you put you can put any value. So I'm putting the one one and one. And it will not matter anything at all because these values will not be used in the simulation as the we are not solving the heat transfer in this case. So the thermal connectivity or the molar mass they will not be used or the CP and now click on apply and ok so this, these errors or warnings are gone away